Welcome to Simple Adventures. This is Nathan. This is George. I'm Rick. Let's talk about some stuff. Some stuff? Some stuff. So it's been a couple of weeks. We missed a week and I did a podcast with Stacey. Yes. Which was a bit of a change, which is good. Talking about kayaking and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't obviously listen to it. I did. Did you? I did. Did you like the bit about MSG? I didn't listen to it all. You didn't listen to the whole thing! I listened to the first, like, 10, 15 Uh, minutes, and then I fell asleep and uh, woke up, like, an hour later or something. I'm just going to take my shoes off. Again. (laughs) It's been... I've been really busy. I've been all over the country doing my standard stonecutter stuff. Stonecutters. Stonecutter stuff. But I also went for a walk up in the bush. I did manage to squeeze that in. It went up Mangatotri. 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 Yep. However it's pronounced. Um, and went into the bird sanctuary. Is it good? I haven't been. It was expensive. Was it? Yeah. You pay for it. You have to pay to go into the bird sanctuary, but... And no, I mean, so that, that was the expensive side of it. It was nice, though, and it gave me a good chance to try out a new piece of kit that I got, which was a pouch for the back of my water nice. thing. I learned some important things about the Molly system, in particular when buyer beware. When purchasing Molly, make sure that the... All the strapping has the correct spacing when it's been manufactured. Because otherwise, stuff doesn't fit through it. Isn't that the point? Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> so there's some poorly manufactured stuff out there. Just got to be careful and, and don't buy it so much online unless you've actually seen it in store and had to play with it. Fair enough. Um, I, there, there's, there's ways to work around it and I've just worked around it. But yeah, you've, it, it's a it's a bit of a pain in the bum when it doesn't work how well, which you expect is, it there's, to. There's... That's a bit stupid, though, because the whole point of Molly is a standardised spacing system. If you can't get the spacing right, you're an idiot. <laughs> Pretty much. And it's not Molly. <laughs> it's some webbing. Yeah. And, and this is on ex-military stuff, no less. So, uh, yeah. uh, But oh well. Oh well. It, it's, it's still doing the job. Um, I've discovered that the water bladder's got a very slow leak in it. Around, oh, where, the, around where the actual fist, fitting is on it. Ah, I suspect, and it's really, really slow, but it's it's fast enough that it'll, it'll you can just feel a little dampness on the bottom of the pack. That's not that's it. not overly common. They're normally pretty well sealed, eh? Did you didn't put cold water in it, did you? I put cold water in it, so it could be condensation. This was my other yeah. As well. <laughs> yeah. So or, or it's more likely way, like where the hose goes on the fitting if the hose has yeah. gotten a bit too big or something. It's, some, it's, it's somewhere like, it's in that fitting so maybe yeah. some o-rings or there's no o-ring oh you've got the clip eh yeah yeah it could just be an o-ring or something or it's so not clipped I, in I've just got to have a little product. bit of play with it and see if it, um, but I couldn't find like I filled it up with air and then gave it a, a gentle squeeze under some water and there wasn't any air coming out so yeah. it, I'm guessing it's to do with the o-ring fitting when did you know that things that are airtight are not necessarily watertight well you see it could be that too then <laughs> yeah, why is that George because the water applies more pressure on air. And water is also a bigger, sorry, a smaller molecule than generally air. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would be right, yeah. Because H's are tiny, Yeah. and you've got two tiny ones and an O, which is a decent size. Yeah. And most of our air is nitrogen, but nitrogen's N2. And yeah. N's are really big. Yeah. The N's are well, I don't know. Well, they're, I mean, it's more of, than oxygens. The air yeah, there's like, two of them together. Yeah. So that's... Like, for example, I've swapped out the air in my tyre for nitrogen. Well, nitrogen. But that's because it has less... Um, it less... doesn't leak as much. No, and no. And it means I don't have to fill it, as often. Well. No, no, it's not, it's not... It's more stable to temperature. temperature. So you, it's not so much that it leaks out less, it's that it, um, when it's cold, there's not less pressure in there. And when it's hot, there's not too much pressure in there. Because air has quite a, will actually shrink and you contract and expand. Not overly lots and lots, but it does do it, whereas nitrogen is very stable. Nitrogen does do it, but it doesn't do it anywhere near. It's fantastic. Oh, that's what it is. I, say, yeah. I, I go in for a, a top-up every six months, three months, and they're usually like, no, it's fine, fuck off. It's great. Yeah, it is good. It is good to at least wearing your tires all that sort of stuff. But we're talking yeah. about tires for some reason. I don't know. We, we've we've got some subject- side back checks. back to track. So what did you guys get up to? Well, we went on a walk, and it was really going to be really really cold. So I bought a new fleece. Ah, lovely. Yep, I got it on clearance from MacPack yep. because you're an idiot if you pay full price at MacPack. How much did you pay for it? Hundred dollars. Which I think bad. which I think is probably the price it should be. Yep. 
I think it should be $100, not $200 most of the year, and then $100 on winter clearance. On winter clearance. <laughs> so I got this one from Kathmandu on winter clearance for 40 bucks. It's normally supposed to be 150 or something like exactly, that. Exactly. Like, and uh, the, 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 the big outdoor chains in this country... You don't buy from them at full price. It's like Briscoe's. It is like Briscoe's. <laughs> it's like you only buy from them in a sale. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's not on sale this week, it probably will be next week. You know? Yeah. And you've just got to have the patience to hold out or be smart enough to buy a couple of seasons in advance. Yeah, or buy last season stuff. like. I had to buy a overcoat for for my some of my Sonic stuff because we were stuck down at field days and it was bloody cold and I was in a real thin suit. So I got this overcoat, but I had to buy it in winter yeah. before the season sales came out. So I ended up paying about twice as much as, because they're now on special, for half the price. Yeah, I know. It, it, was, so it, it, was, it was one of those situations where I had to get one then. I didn't really have But I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pay $200 for this. I like it. I really like it. It's probably my new favorite top. Yeah. Um, it's got the world's ugliest hood. <laughs> it's terrible. It is. It is <laughs> tight, and it's more like a thermal. You can zip it up as well, and it looks like it would zip up to. Yeah. It's, it's, it's. But it is. It is a very, very good hood. <laughs> it's ugly as hell, and I never wear it in public. But because it's tight, yeah. It moves around under my raincoat hood. Yeah. It um. It doesn't get in the way. It's really good it, cut around the eyes, so you got all the good vision. Functional and like the best functioning hood I've ever had, just so happens to be the ugliest. It looks like it's made for skinheads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. It does. See, I can get a hood like I've got all this moppy stuff at the back, and if the hood's too tight, it sits. Well, it stretches like because it's like a thermal. Yeah. Because like, oh. the the whole fleece thing changes layers like under the arms and stuff is like thermal. Yeah. It's like a base layer thermal sort of like a thick base layer thermal. But in the chest and the back is all like double layer fleece. It's good. And I was very warm. Mm. And it was very cold. Wasn't it, George? It was. Where did we go? We went to the Omaru house in the Kamehameha Forest Park. Yep. Yes. And we left after work on Friday. Yes. So we left here at half six yeah. in the evening. Yep. We, what time did we get there? Uh, we started walking at nine. We were nine and we got to the hut at 1 a.m. So that would have been a cold walk. Yeah. It was freezing. It was drizzling and blowing. Yeah, but the, that wind was really cold. Yeah. Like, it was coming straight off the mountains. Yeah. Because I went down to Otai Happy yesterday, oh, on Saturday, and yeah. it was miserable all the way down. Oh, yeah. There. And so I can only imagine that if you're up in the hills at the same time. That was last weekend, not... No, sorry, weekend before last Oh, weekend was... before last weekend. No, it was three weekends ago. No. Oh, no, because... No, no, yeah, because yeah. this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, miserable weather. Yeah, but it was good. It was a great trip, eh? Yeah. Um, so we, George and I got up to go hunting on Saturday morning. What about, we got up about, what, 7? I got up at 5.30, but... Yeah, well, I got up about 6 then, so yeah. I got like that long after you. Yeah. We pissed around and, and ate breakfast and the sun came up, so we sat in that for a bit. <laughs> oh, no, that was, that was the other day, the next day. Yeah. But, um, so we, we, we went off for a hunt and left the apprentice, because I took my apprentice from work. Yeah. And um yeah he 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 took mo he took the whole day for himself I think <laughs> he 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 needed to recover it was a long night for him and he wasn't used to it so but he did alright he did perfectly fine and we we struggled to leave on the Sunday eh? yeah it was such a gorgeous day yeah the sun came out we were just sitting there talking rubbish on the deck and <laughs> no one really wanted to walk the four hours back to the car <laughs> oh we really have to go yeah we didn't want to leave did we no no it was gorgeous. Yeah, so it's a fantastic trip. It's a great, great walk. Um, you walk through private land most of the way. Yeah. Um, so it's on a farm, which is it's a little bit boring, but it's nice. It's flat and easy. It's four hours, good four to five hours though. And um, yeah, and then there's a little bit of bush and then a river crossing that can be quite dangerous. The river was quite low. Yeah. Um, Surprising. Cause... Yeah, because we had quite a bit of rain, but it was yeah. quite low. You can never really predict it, eh? No. Um. Unless you've sort of been out there in it the whole time. But you've been in situations where it hasn't rained and the river's flooded, eh? Yeah. yeah like, it's been, it's been perfectly fine. And the river just starts coming up. And up, and up, and up. Um, it, was, it didn't flood our camp. But, yeah. Um, our, our dad was with our dad. And um, he struggled to get across. And that was before it even got to anywhere near its peak. 
Yeah. But what had happened was it rained way because it had quite a large catchment, like yeah. quite, quite a long way away, and it rained really heavy on the other side of the range, but some of it had gone to our catchment. Yeah. And it just all would come down, and the river just... And like it, I think it was flooded Gisborne. Oh, cool. Like, I don't know... Yeah, somewhere around there, it was quite a bit of flooding. But, um, yeah, we found out later when we got out. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it was like perfectly fine, and the river just keeps coming up and up. So on on that note, I saw an Instagram from. post today, yeah. and it sort of pissed me off. As it was a, a girl had gone out into just driving, yeah. so not not overly hiking or anything. It was a beautiful photo of her in Mount Cook National Park. Yeah, and it's it's a beautiful day. We had a wonderful day today, and the comment was, "I'm glad I didn't listen to the weather report, otherwise I would have missed out on this." And I was like. Could have easily gone the other way, like pretty it could have much been terrible. At, at, the, at this time of year in this country, the weather reports are next to useless, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, you can get up. They in the can morning. give you a, a, an average guide. Yeah. Of sort of what's going on, but but we we so changeable. But like yesterday, yeah. we were going from pouring down rain yeah. to blisteringly overly hot sun. Yeah. Within half an hour. Yeah, I noticed that actually because we it was miserable out there, so. Bugger it, go to a movie, and then came back out again, and it was scorching hot. It's like, <laughs> how long was that movie? <laughs> <laughs> but that's normal weather in New Zealand, it, it especially from, especially in, in, in the moment because it's spring. Yeah, it and can go autumn. from spring and autumn. It can go worst. from wonderful and clear out there to suddenly bang, absolutely yeah. drenching down. I, I I wasn't overly happy with the comment actually, on Instagram. I I think you should take note of weather forecasts. Yep. I mean, obviously, sometimes they're going to get it wrong and they're going to forecast rain and it's going to be sunny. But and just, vice versa. And vice versa. But, you know, it's it's more to be really careful at this time of year. Having a look at the weather forecast, seeing what the systems are doing as well. Like, like you know, yeah. looking at the actual, the actual maps. I'd really the like wind, to get, the wind maps to get someone like um, to talk to someone about that really knows... It that just sort of gives stuff? you a better idea in understanding that, like, if it's coming up from the south, it's probably going to be cold, and you're probably not going to get too much rain, but if it's coming in from the west, northwest... You could do anything. Yeah, if it's coming in from the northwest, it can do bloody, you know, near anything. Yeah. So, it, it's kind of understanding that, that sort of stuff. Um, and I use that for, like, if I'm looking at my, putting out my washing, I'll look at the weather, and I'll go, uh, no, actually, it's nice and clear out there at the moment, but because of the direction of what the forecast is saying... I think I'll um go to the laundromat, and then and then you go down there and you're in the laundromat, and then you look out sudden rain's drenching down. The flatmates are running around trying to get their washing in as quickly as possible, and you're just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. it's great. It's yeah. Great. And then they go and struggle to get a machine at the laundromat because everyone else is having the same problem. Yeah. And it's funny. Do we do we do we want to share um our friend the apprentice's cock up? Oh, it was pretty funny. It was you should do funny. It. So, so he, he's got quite a summer weight sleeping bag. So yeah. it wasn't enough for the, the cold we were in. But he had some extra clothes on. and, and We were in a hut. We were in a hut. And it, he, was a, he was a bit cold, but he wasn't even going to get hypothermia or anything. And he was complaining about being a bit cold. And we're all sitting there. And um, George turns around and he says... Because we, we slept in the kitchen. We slept in the kitchen next to the fire. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 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 why wouldn't you? <laughs> and the bunks are those wire ones, so whenever you move, they go, Aah. and it's just way nicer just to sleep in the kitchen. And the guys that we woke up at 1am when we got there were quite nice about it all, so yeah. they, were, they were good. Anyway, so we're all sitting around, there's two guys, one of them is a real character, quite a funny fella, and um, we're, he's sort of talking about it, and then a little while later, George looks at me and says, I think I know why you were cold. And he's like, well, why? And he's like, your sleeping bag's inside out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, no. And there's this tag on the end out there and the zips backwards. And, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, hilarity. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. But he reckons he reckons it was the right way around most of the night. And he got up to go to the toilet and it had gone the wrong way around or something. <laughs> yeah, no, up? that's not how it happened. Yeah, so it was it was pretty funny. Poor, yeah. I mean, ugh. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I've never seen you make the mistake before in my life. <laughs> That's fantastic. It was good though. But it had a tag on it, and I've got no idea what the tag was. But it, all it said on it was "removed before use," <laughs> and the guy that was there just started this rant, and it was a fantastic rant. I, I like, honestly, I was on the floor laughing at him because he's like, 
See? As if you could cut that tag off, you'd have been fine. It's so much warmer when you cut the tag off. It releases a chemical into the down and it fluffs it up. And so they don't do it because it wears out after a while. So you've got to wait. It's like putting the tab on the battery in the back of the thing. This guy barreled into this rant. I just couldn't stop fucking laughing. The poor guy's just like, oh my god, I'm in, I'm in my inside out sleeping bag. And this guy's telling me about this stupid tag. And it, yeah, it was... It was pretty good. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But if you know, it was all boys at the hut. There was no woman there, and it, it, it got quite misogynistic. It was, <laughs> it was pretty that, funny. I found that, that sort of male-only environment is actually quite cathartic for, for guys. What do you mean? In, in the sense that you can, you, you can talk a little bit more freely. You, yeah, you, and no one... Not... Yeah, you, you're right. But the conversation doesn't just turn to smart. It really doesn't. <laughs> it, it can. It and does. it often oh, does, no. but it doesn't, it doesn't stay there. It, no, it, you no. can have some really good deep conversations. You know, like I, 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 I don't know. I think men need to have a bit of a, a chance to whinge about the partners and stuff as well. You know, it, it's a good. But it, you know, and it's and we don't do it because the, you know we're actually upset with them. We just you just have a bit of a vent and a talk bullshit and yeah, life's good. But it is and it's fine when the, when women are there as well. You know, the 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 conversation doesn't get um trimmed or or cut off it just it's just different you know and i mean i'm, I'm I, I really like having women in the outdoors it's 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 great you know um but yeah so except we had a we had a, a bunch of women at a hut once turned up and it was a, a group of women they're all friends and they sat in the middle of the hut at the table excuse me i'm gonna have to cough <coughs> <coughs> sorry um I sat in the table and just complained about men the entire weekend. Was so they just complained <laughs> about men, and we're like, we 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 can hear you, <laughs> you know. It's a one room hut, guys. <laughs> you know, don't come here and just complain about men, you know. So me and my mate sat in the corner complaining about women. <laughs> <laughs> we just we look we antagonised it. They were not nice people. <laughs> they were real like, yeah, they weren't nice. And my mate has very little patience for anyone. So <laughs> yeah, no, that that was that was weird. So, but anyway, we're we're, we're well off top. Well, we didn't even have a topic. So yeah, I think it's been a good discussion though so far. It yeah. does. It's good. It's good. Um. Getting out to the Omaru was good though. I really needed it. I had a bit of um, could, it was just down and out a bit, you know, like. You had a bit of a dry spell without yeah. going out and going And out and I wasn't board. feeling that good. Like, just wasn't feeling that good. And it was the kickstarter to feel better again, you know, like um, just having that. I don't know, like for me, that's a relaxing weekend. Yeah. You know, even though we we did sort of probably you know forty five fifty k's worth of walking, that's relaxing. Yeah. Well, it's 15 in, so... Yeah, we, we, we 15 really go, oh, we didn't go that far when we were hunting, did we? No, you never really do. Nah. It's, no. um, it's so we probably hard. did, what, 40k's max? Yeah. No, that's not bad. And Still, had the blisters to show it. Well, I yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so... You got anything new and interesting, George? Um, How's no, the hunt for the day bag? Day bag? I still can't find one. Like, something I, I really want. Um, it, it's Everything's... Either cl- way off or close, but it's gonna have something I really don't want. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm still looking. Yeah. I'm still looking. Um. They're a lot more technical than they ever used to be, eh? Yeah. Um. I think I am gonna end up having two. <coughs> having two. Yeah. Oh, the the apprentice had a um really nice little pack, eh? Yes. That low alpine one. Yeah. Um. Not not as big as ours. Yeah. Um. Was it, but for a weekend trip, it was bang on. About 65 litres, I think. Yeah. Okay. And we, we've got 95 litre packs, which is pretty much as big as packs get. Yeah. And for a week, you're, you're like, oh, I think Christ, I've got the room to carry the extra stuff. But for a weekend, the actual tear weight of the pack is quite a lot, you know? You're carrying a lot of pack in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and you don't need it. And, and I'd, I'd quite like a smaller pack, just so I don't just keep throwing stuff in it. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's not even got anything in it. It's and easy like, to fill oh, bags. That's got... That's gotten quite heavy. <laughs> I've discovered that it's really easy to fill a bigger bag. Yeah. So yes. I've cut down to... Like, I've just got a pouch for the front of my smaller pack and, and to put my stuff in. Because otherwise I end up like, oh, I'll just chuck this in and oh, I'll chuck this in. Oh, something could happen. I might chuck this in as well. And before you know it, you're carrying like 
half your house in the back of your bag. It's like, yeah. mm, okay, no, I can see the advantage of having a smaller pack and having to actually think about what you're putting in there. Yeah. And it adjusted really quickly on the go, eh? The, the mm. height? Because ours, you sort of got to take them off and open things, you know, fiddle around with them. But yeah, his just like, he like suctioned into it. He's just like, <laughs> just pull the strings. He's like, oh yeah, packs aren't new. No, God no. Um, and I, 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 I wouldn't replace them for a big pack. But I, I'd like a weekender, like, you know? Yeah, because I, I was looking for something I could use as a carrying in pack. Yeah. And then chuck my stuff out of it and then use it as my day pack. Yeah. Yeah, see, so so cutting the weight down. Of, so 65 litres is about right, eh? It's pretty big for a... It's a it'll be for a weekend trip, it's heaps. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, um, but for a week, it's probably not enough. No. Not for what we, we do. If no. you're just going for a tramp, it would be. Yeah, but by the time you, you get... You get all that extra gear in for going hunting. Yeah. It, yeah. And I wouldn't want to hunt with a, for a week with a 65 litre pack. No. It pissed me off too much. But the problem is, is those packs are all nylon... And not all of them. Not all of them? Oh, you can't get canvas ones? Or fleece line or fleece outers? Uh, I don't want it. What do you think of a fleece outer pack, though? Oh. I mean, yes, they're quiet in the bush for hunting. But they're camo. Yeah. <laughs> that's, hey. something, that's something else I've noticed. All of, again, camo. Everything camo. Oh, I just don't and, get uh, it. Did you just, it's like, hey, this is really good, this is functional, but it's green. And that's the only colour it comes in. Or leaf pattern. Yep. <laughs> So I can look like a tree, or I can look like leaf litter. And you know what? <laughs> People are like, oh, you're in the bush, it doesn't matter what you look like. But it does. Because it matters to you. <laughs> it matters to me. I don't want to look like a camoed up warrior. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, I, and I don't... I don't know. It's not, it's not me, so I don't like it, you know? I know some people wear camo, and it's fine. Yes. You it's know? Like, especially like a lot of bow hunters wear it. Oh, and, yeah. Because they have to get... And they're so talking close. Them really close. Yeah. So, so you need everything you can get. They have face shields and all kinds of things. And... Which... Which... I, I'd, I'd say the face shields is a big one. Yeah. Because I, animals just... As soon as they see your eyes, they're like, oh, fuck. We used to do it with the sheep in the paddock, eh? If you didn't want to upset the sheep, you didn't stare at them as you walked past. You just, like, ignore them. And they wouldn't get skittish. Mm. Anyway, I think we've sort of moseyed down, eh? I think we have. Um, yeah. So, well, from, from Nathan, George, and myself, keep safe out there, and, um, yeah, till next time. Till next time. Thanks, guys. See you later. See ya.